all wrong. You can't just go up there and fling it, man. You gotta aim with your thumb, pull back, and then throw it forward. Why can't I just do it my way? Because your way's not working out at all. It's because we're wearing socks. I'm sliding all over the place. Well, fine. Go buy shoes then. I mean, it's gonna cost more money. I think they'll be worth it. Why are you so resistant to learn another way to bowl? I mean, everybody does it the way I'm telling you how to do it. Who just goes up there and flings the damn thing? Fred Flintstone. Well, Fred Flintstone's a cartoon character. If you want to bowl like a cartoon character, then be my guest. I'm gonna go get some shoes. Look, I think we should leave. What? Why? Well, I mean, neither of us is doing very well. I mean, it just seems like a waste. But we're already paid. Yeah, so it's just like the movie. I want to see if the shoes help. Look, man, I will give you your money back. But let's just finish our game. Uh, Glenn... Uh, I want a bowl! Hey, Glenn! How did your poetry reading go? Why did you give a shit? Come on, man. What? You already have a boyfriend, so why do you care about anything that happens to me? Because we're friends. Well, you know what, Karen? I already have friends, so I don't need another one. What I need right now is a girlfriend. If you can't be that for me, then you're just wasting my time. When did you become such an asshole? No, no, Karen. See, I'm not an asshole, all right? What I am right now is pissed off. I'm not an asshole. I'm a nice guy. I would do anything for any girl if I was given a chance. I wish I was an asshole. Girls like assholes. If I was an asshole, I could probably get a girlfriend. But instead, I'm a nice guy, so all I can ever be is a friend. What kind of sense does that make? Stevie down the hall. Just give me a few minutes. Okay, well just meet me in front of the bank parking lot. All right, see you in a few minutes. Okay, bye. Bye. Hey. Hey, what's up? Uh, not much, I'm pretty tired. Uh. So what'd you do last night? Not a whole lot, just watch my brother. But he's going with my mom to the zoo today, so we'll have the house to ourselves. Oh, cool. Yeah, but I'm going to warn you. It's really far out of the way, so if you don't want to go, we can go somewhere else. That's fine. Well, okay. Yeah, well, we're going to have to walk it from here. What? 
Yeah, when you said that it was far away, I didn't realize you meant we were gonna have to drive for two hours, then walk. I'm sorry. That's all right, but I mean, you drive back and forth to school every day? Well, I'm actually not in school right now, but I come to town pretty much every day. How do you pay for gas? I get by. Where are we even? Like, what is this place even called? Well, my house? <laughs> no, I mean, what town are we in? What county? Well, I don't know if it has a name, but... Are you kidding? What do you write on your address? I have a P.O. box. Oh. I didn't realize we were coming out to some black hole vortex today. So you hate me? What? No! God, what gave you that idea? I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just waiting on what I'm going to do next that's going to make you hate me. I really, really, really don't hate you, Darcy. Okay. Do you want to go inside now? Yeah, sure. All right, so Glenn, now that we're on the couch and I've got you here, there's something that I really need to tell you. It's really hard, but I've been practicing all night, so... Okay, here it goes. Glenn, I don't think I've ever felt the way I feel about you for anyone before. I know I don't know that much about you, but when you helped me the other night, I think that was the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. You're so sweet, and you're so cute. I know you probably get told that all of the time, but I never thought anyone as perfect as you could ever exist. I hope you don't think I'm stupid or crazy for telling you this, but I love you, and the truth is, I don't really have any brothers. I love you. But, wait, 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 wait. There's something I really it, need to it tell you. It doesn't matter. your class. I can miss it. Love you. Love you too. But look, there's something that we really need to talk about. Not right now. That I really need to get this off my chest. I already know. You do? Yeah. Me and Marvin saw you last night. Well, what does he think? Well, I mean, as you know, I'm in love with you, so I felt pretty bad. I think he felt bad for me. Well, do you think he'll tell anybody? Well, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, neither of us even know the guy, so I don't think he'll... Oh, well, that just worries me a little bit. Well, are you going to tell him? Because, I mean, I'm in love with you, you know? And I've wanted something like this to happen for a long time, but... I don't know how comfortable I am running around behind someone's back. What are you talking about? Look, do you feel the same way about him that you feel about me? Of course not. I love you. Okay, so are you going to break up with him? Uh, I'd say whatever relationship I had with him ended last night after I chopped him up and ate him. Come again? After I met him last night at the bowling alley, we came back here and I chopped him up with my chainsaw. And then I ate him. That's what you guys saw me doing, right? No. We saw you making out with some guy at the bowling alley, so... Then I got mad and stormed out and we went back to my dorm. Oh. What the hell did you... I was Are trying you... to explain. Jesus Christ! Oh, Lynn, what I was the... trying to explain. You said you didn't have any brothers, were they? More guys I chopped up and ate. Oh shit! So, if you were pissed off, why did you come back here with me? You said you wouldn't go to your house, so I thought you weren't to have sex with me! Are you serious? Well, I was right, wasn't I? Oh my god. What are you judging me for? You're the one who kills people and eats them. I thought you were different. <laughs> oh.